Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we will be taking a closer look at the newly revealed leader Charlotte Pudding from OP08. So in the last video I have talked about King and about Marco. If you guys did not saw this video go ahead and check it out. And for today we will be taking a closer look at Pudding and I can translate the effect for you guys to begin with. So basically when attacking you can flip the um, top two cards from your life face up. And after that you can add one Dawn from your Dawn deck and rest it for free guys. So whenever this leader attacks she can flip her life face up if, she, if it's not already flipped up from the previous attack and she did not lose any until then she can just rest and add another dawn rested i mean this is pretty strong this is really really strong she does not have to um, throw a card from her hand to the trash she doesn't have to sacrifice anything um, she does it while attacking so this is really really good and we gotta be honest Pudding is up there with King and up there with Marco. I have had a lot of um, struggle when I saw Marco and I thought, damn, Bandai did not really learn from Sakazuki. But then we saw King and then I thought, hmm, it's going in the right direction if everybody is that strong. And now we have Pudding. So Banda is going with we are not going to <laughs> we're not going to release just one overpowered character. Everybody's gonna be overpowered. So basically it's going to even out itself, which is nice, I guess. So it's not really that much of a problem now that we have some some soft Sakazuki character. We have some big boy late game um King now and we have some big girl late game now with triggers <laughs> basically so pudding is insane with her color combination as well um, obviously we are running yellow because we already have the big mom type uh, package um, from OP03 and we are now having uh, obviously purple big mom parrots because um, as of now there are no announced cards or no leaks so we do not know exactly what um, the purple big mom type cards are going to do how they're going to work and what their effects are gonna be but if you guys think about it you can get arrested on every turn when attacking so basically let's say you start as first you have one on then it's your second turn you have three on you attack once you have four on Next turn you have 6, you attack once, you have 7 done, you have maybe played something like Mr. 2 or Ain, and you're at 8. And basically the next turn, your 4th turn, you are at done 10. This is really 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 insane. And if you go second you don't necessarily have to ramp from another card like Bontu or Ain. It You just need to ramp twice attack twice basically which you are going to do either way except if your leader gets rested or frozen by any card either way you are at dawn 10 maximum speed basically there is almost no other leader who is that fast there are some and there are some ways to do it king will be fast as well king will be really fast because he has the onigashima stage if he Place the Onigashima stage at 3, he will be fast. He can also play something like Mr. 2 and Ain and be even faster and after that just simply go minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 every turn and he will not have any problems with that at all. But Pudding is up there, also really fast with ramping, but we have some already known cards and I'm going to take a closer look with you guys at some potential cards that we are gonna see. First of all, first of all, we have the purple uh, package or let's say the purple color pool. So Pudding is going to play obviously some purple cards. So we are going to get purple Big Mom support. This is um, 
no question it's a no-brainer but we do not know when or what or how they're gonna work so let's just hypothetically go with those three cards i have just put in there obviously i think mr 2 is going to be included he is that strong on play add up to one dawn and that is active this is also truly great and at the next turn he is like a free swing because he can copy anything and the enemy basically has to get rid of him because if not next turn he will attack again it is like one wasted attack if the enemy does not have something with a thousand power or more um at the best he has to waste a leader attack for him so i think mr 2 is going to be a four off in the stack it really is that good it really is that strong miss old sunday has a similar effect uh, she adds a rested dawn to your area you also draw a card which also could be nice you do not have to play her necessarily because she is baroque works you are most likely going to play your um, pudding search uh, so i think the majority of your deck is going to be still the big mom pirates because if you play this character the yellow pudding searcher you could still uh, you could still search some purple cards which includes the big mom type uh, cards so that would be no problem i guess um some people will try to play something like miss all sunday but it's mm, i don't think that she's going to make it to the top cut like uh the final version of 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 some deck list but she could be up there so let's just leave her right there and we also have ayin uh which is a bit better i think maybe than uh, miss all sunday i mean she has she's just four and has five thousand um miss all sunday does draw you a card or extra but maybe if you're going second this is a better option because at six you're most likely going to play something else to ramp like maybe mr uh Mr. Two and maybe having more Dawn open is a bit better overall. But Ayn could be up there. Maybe we are still not sure what we are getting. So those three options are quite possible. I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Two is like 99% sure for the deck list to be included. So let's just not talk about the purple uh, aspect anymore. Then obviously we are running the pudding searcher because we are looking for the big mom type uh, pirates we are most likely going to see another pair of spell because at three he is like the best thing you could play at three and we are obviously guys obviously going to see the tank cost big mom draw because you can search it you can play it and you can simply demolish your opponent because as i've said at turn four you can be at 10 dawn and simply play this card be a menace on the field and if you have another on the hand if you search multiple times if you have um, mulligan for her maybe like once or twice being in hand uh, as i said this could be truly terrifying because your opponent may be at six or seven dawn and you're at 10 and him losing a life, you gaining a life, having a 12k body on the board, this is truly frustrating. This is truly terrifying. Thinking about putting, dropping the big mom at turn 4. This got, this has got to be a 4 off. Also, you're most likely going to see the 7 cost big mom. Because this is going to be as early as maybe turn 3. And afterwards we are seeing the tankos big mom what the hell guys truly what the hell i mean we could also see like this category's comeback depending on what exactly the deck list is going to do if we are just simply ramping up to the big cost uh, to the big yellow bodies we are most likely going to see katakuri back again because we could still have something like um something similar like miss all sunday where we have a purple big mom type of carrots part maybe we uh, also ramp it on something similar maybe similar with a higher cost or some drawbacks who knows but also with a trigger something like uh, if your leader includes the big mom type pirates play this card then katakuri the eight cost katakuri would be pretty relevant again because as of now he has been pushed a bit into the shadows 
and some people have completely um, uh, eradicated him from uh, some deck list so as of now he is in most binders and not in most decks but maybe he will have his comeback depending on what purple cards we see depending on to, on what new yellow cards we are getting this could be pretty interesting also with EBO one we are getting Charlotte Flampe where you can add one card from the top or bottom of your deck and draw one depending on what actually happens with the face up cards that we have from our leader effect if they are about to go to the trash or if they have some similar effects where we need to do something with them maybe we are getting some cards where the effect says if this card is face up on your life do something like play this card or maybe trash this card or maybe i don't know add it to your hands something similar then this card shadow flampe would be really useful she's in first place a 2k counter so if you not if you do not need her right now simply uh, treasure with the 2k counter but if the cards on your face up the the life uh, the face up cards on your life pile are getting removed or you need to remove them by some sort of effects Clampe is there for you and you also draw a card, so this could be something to keep in mind. Also Charlotte Cracker, depending on how aggressive you are going to be with this deck, Cracker is, is the man. If this deck is more, more of a ramping type, I am waiting for my big body deck, then we are not going to see Cracker at all because he is aggressive but he is a bit slow to say because you are you are using Fordon to play him or discarding a card from the trigger to play him and you have to attach a Dawn to him. I mean he is strong but he keeps you a bit slow so I'm not quite sure if you're going to see Cracker in this deck list. Same thing with Smoothie. Depending this is the same thing uh, with Flampe, depending on what has to happen with the face-up cards in your life area. Smoothie can also be relevant again, where you can add uh, one card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand and she gains 2000 power during this battle. This could also be really strong, because if you need to get rid of those cards, you will have a 7k body on your field without investing a Dawn, so this could also be truly great. And with the last card, this is like the, the maybe triangle here, we could see a Thunderbolt comeback because, as I've said, if you need to get rid of those cards in your uh, life area of these face-up cards, then Thunderbolt is there for you. For just two dawn, you can KO something. Depending, as I've said, if there is a need to remove them. I mean, I could see, I could see this just being like the drawback hey i mean you're attacking the enemy sees your trigger he can he can mm, let's say protect himself a little he can like outmaneuver it a bit but at the end of the day you are facing a peros pero trigger you are facing maybe a cracker trigger you are facing maybe i don't know something like Onami if for whatever reason reason Onami would be there included you are facing the trigger you have to get rid of those you have to attack the enemy to win if you do not get rid of the life you are not going to win by all means so at the end of the day either you know the trigger or you don't know the trigger it's going to be there if it's there so the enemy can prepare themselves a little but it's still going to happen so we are just going to see about it i i really don't think that they are going to include cards that have negative impact on face up life cards so i don't think that we will have the need to remove the face up cards like uh, flampe does or um, smoothie does or thunderbolt does i mean you can just play those cards if you want like if you simply don't care what is at the top of your life card and you simply want to use these on play effects or when attacking effects just go ahead do it those are all viable cards but i have just included them for the sake of maybe the purple uh, type big mom ah, this is a tongue breaker maybe the purple 
big mom type characters are having some negative aspects about face up cards. This is what I mean. So we are not quite sure yet how the deck is going to be handled. If this is truly the only negative aspect that the enemy can see your life up trigger cards. I mean, I see this balanced. I do see um, myself in some situations where I think, oh great, he only has like a seven cost big mom and a 10 cost big mom as his uh, last two life. And he has like one card in hand and I have like three attacks. He has no counter and he gets no counter in hand. I mean, I see this as a big drawback, truly. But this is some late game type situation. And we all know what late game does or what happens in the late game when you play with or against yellow. Yellow is going to heal. Yellow is just going to heal themselves over and over again. And do not forget about ace, guys. Do not forget about the secret rare 10 cost rush ace. We already have the Tankos Big Mom, you're going to heal yourself, you're going to trash one of your opponent's life cards. You can maybe chain two mobs, but you could also chain aces. You can chain or simply place ace whenever you want, whenever you can, whenever you need to. But this card also has rush, he heals you and he is a big, big body on field. So most likely pudding is going to be low life mid game around mid game but once you you see her getting to tend on man it's going to be hard for you because she will heal every turn she will either play a 10 cost big mom she will either play an ace a 10 cost ace she will either play seven cost big mom something to heal i don't think that we will see the nine cost yamato i really don't think that we will see this card but who knows who knows but Ace and Big Mom are going to be there, I can assure you that, and this is going to be really strong, really, really strong. So you guys have to be prepared for that. And I think as for now, we have covered everything new for um, the newly re revealed Big Mom type leader. So basically guys, this is it for today. Once we get some new news for all of these new leaders from OPO8 and maybe we are getting another leader if I'm not mistaken. I think rumors said that we are still about to get a Nami leader, but who knows if the last leader is going to be Nami. I am still excited to see what we are going to get for all of the new decks in OPO8. And I hope you guys are excited as well. So basically guys, this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe and comment. I will gladly talk with you guys about the newly revealed cards. So basically, this is it. We will see you guys at the next video. Peace.